Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. I gotta wonder how all these personal lockers got off the Salarian Ark. Fell off the back. Sorry, old reflex. straight on the barrel does it seem secure it's secure I promise back in my day upgrades were handmade custom fitted none of this off the rack snap together shit don't say uphill both ways don't say it Tarians do since we're here we should look for info on Ania's water maybe check out her office This is Ania's office. I'll watch for guards. You check out the security. As expected, it's locked. 
The scout should tell you how best to proceed, Pathfinder. Code for the office door. I'm gonna mess you up with me. Yeah. Let's get what we came for before someone sees us. I have my sawtoss right here. I'm gonna peel your skin off. An underground lake. That's where she's getting her water. Got the nav point. Let's get out of here. I just told you I have your map. You're way off this planet. I tried. I asked around. Loudly. Dumb, huh? You were a kid. Sure way to make someone vanish is to let him know someone else is looking. Either dad or whoever it was that made him disappear. You hate him for it. Nah. I tell myself he'd come back if he could've. I'll never get the truth, so I'll take the lie that makes everything easier. Years ago, I was running with a mercenary band, mostly smuggling work. Nova Force. Ambitious name for a small-time crew. On one of the jobs, I got caught by Kesh. Made a deal. I got her some experimental prototypes out of Terminus. She didn't turn me in. It became a thing. She was always good for jobs. Paid well. 
and up front. Credits helped me go independent. But then I got suspicious. All the things she was asking me to get. So I asked. And that's when I heard about the initiative. She brought you on. Oh yeah. I bought the pitch, like everyone else. Levels increasing. like that was another memory gate, Sam. And the last. However, a deeper level of encryption is in place. Unfortunately, the conditions to unlock it haven't yet been satisfied. Well, let me know when that changes. No telling what Dad was up to. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. above normal temperatures. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Using cash light to you? Nah, she's not the type. I'm pretty sure none of us really knew what we were getting into. Bamboozled. Nice word. Yeah, I learned it from Sid. She's into some weird old human shit. Good name for a drink. The Bamboozler. <laughs> I try it.
the squad. Timing is impeccable, Pathfinder. Another minute and those scavengers might have been wearing our skins. You're not serious, right? Who knows? We've heard stories. The desolation makes people a little... unbalanced. I don't suppose you could call for help. Of course. Sam, relay this location to the Tempest and get them to send a shuttle. Done, Pathfinder. Help is on the way. We'll just wait here till our ride comes. I don't expect we'll run into any more trouble. Thank you again. Stasis pods from Ark Natanus. Are any of them alive? It's difficult to obtain a clear reading on all pods at once. We should investigate. dead. Sam, we should have Mason's genetic profile in the initiative database. Let's check it against the pods. Support levels critical, please. Help me get it open. Pathfinder, the body has no vitals. Damn it. The stasis pod still functions. I can access its data history. According to the final log, this stasis pod was jettisoned from Ark Natanus. Maybe when it hit the scourge. The timeline doesn't match. This pod was ejected long after Natanus was reported missing. We assumed the Ark was destroyed, but maybe it's intact. The crew could still be alive. And dumping colonists in stasis? That's worse. We should finish checking the pods for Mason, then report back to Avidus.
Subject is too old. Not Mason Barrow. Too many variations in the genome. No match. None of the pods match Mason Barrow, Pathfinder. Hopefully that means he's still alive. That's a lot more water than I was expecting. I wonder what the Remnant Builder's plans were. I'm disappointed, Pathfinder. I thought you were someone I could trust. I welcomed you into my home, and you repay my kindness by robbing me. You were hoarding water, threatening the survival of every person on this planet. Self-defense. It's you people, you Vesagara, who threaten me. My brother tried to help your people when they first came here. 
He showed them where to find shelter, allowed them to take freely from our water tanks. He was killed for his trouble. I won't be as foolish as Asgar. Don't you think you're headed toward the same fate by restricting access to a necessity? If I die, so do they. There's not enough surface water on Elidon. These scavengers respect no one, not me, not you. But they do respect the planet. As long as they need me to survive, they live by my rules. You want me to forget everything I've seen? Exactly. You say nothing. You allow me to protect myself and my home how I want. You expect me to do this just because you asked nicely? Your Nexus needs resources to survive. Elidon is rich in those. What I gather, I will share, just so long as Elidon remains mine. How long have you known about this water? Asgar and I found it years ago, on a mining expedition. The Remnant nearly killed us. I knew, even then, that I wanted to keep it a secret. It gave us an advantage. It took time to convince Asgar, but he came around eventually. I made him promise. By keeping this secret, you're preventing anyone from establishing a real home here. I've allowed your Krogans to stay. It shouldn't be about what you allow. It's not up to you. So now I have to sit by and watch you destroy everything I've built. I will hound you every step of the way. This isn't over. Get them! Kill them if you can! Now. With Aenea gone, the Initiative could take charge of Elodin. Make some good changes. Sam? As you wish, Pathfinder. I have relayed the information to the Nexus. Let's hope this works out for the best. <laughs>